are diseases and conditions. A recent survey of 1,000 adults shows that nearly half, 47%, worry more about losing their sight than about losing their memory and the ability to walk or hear. But almost 30% indicated that they don't get their eyes checked. Many Americans are unaware of the warning signs of eye diseases and conditions that could cause damage and blindness if not detected and treated soon enough. Let's take a look at some of the most common eye diseases and conditions. Anatomy of the eye The eye is made up of numerous components. As you proceed through the slideshow, you may use this illustration to reference the main structure and anatomy of the eye, cornea. Clear front window of the eye that transmits and focuses light into the eye iris. Colored part of the eye that helps regulate the amount of light that enters pupil. Dark aperture in the iris that allows light to go through into the back of the eye lens. Transparent structure inside the eye that focuses light rays onto the retina. Retina. Nerve layer that lines the back of the eye. Senses light. Undergoes complex chemical changes and creates electrical impulses that travel through the optic nerve to the brain macula. Small central area in the retina that contains special light-sensitive cells and allows us to see fine details clearly optic nerve. Connects the eye to the brain and carries the electrical impulses formed by the retina to the visual cortex of the brain vitreous. Clear jelly-like substance that fills the middle of the eye glaucoma glaucoma the sneak thief of sight refers to a group of eye diseases that affect the optic nerve and may cause vision loss optic nerve damage in glaucoma is primarily due to elevated intraocular pressure iop within the eye glaucoma is classified either as open angle the more common chronic condition which is usually Painless or angle closure glaucoma the more unusual type which often occurs suddenly acutely and is associated with pain and redness of the eye. The elderly, African Americans, and people with family histories of the disease are at greatest risk. There are no symptoms in the early stages, and by the time the patient notices vision changes, visual loss due to glaucoma can only be halted, not reversed. Glaucoma is usually treated with eye drops, although lasers and surgery can also be used. Most cases can be controlled well with these treatments, thereby preventing further loss of vision. Early diagnosis and treatment is the key to preserving sight in people with glaucoma. Cataracts Cataract is a painless condition where the normally clear aspirin-sized lens of the eye starts to become cloudy. The result is much like smearing grease over the lens of a camera, which impairs normal vision. Causes of cataracts include cortisone medication, trauma, diabetes, and aging. In fact, cataracts will affect most people if they live long enough. Diagnosis can be made when a doctor examines the eyes with a viewing instrument. Symptoms of early cataracts may be improved with new eyeglasses, brighter lighting, anti-glare sunglasses, and magnifying lenses, if these measures do not help. Surgically removing the cloudy lens and replacing it with an artificial lens is the only effective treatment. Removal is only necessary when vision loss interferes with your everyday activities, such as driving, reading, or watching TV. You and your eye care professional can discuss the surgery. And once you understand the benefits and risks, you can make an informed decision about whether cataract surgery is right for you. In most cases, delaying cataract surgery will not cause long-term damage to your eye and make the surgery more difficult. Age-related macular degeneration AMD age-related macular degeneration is an eye disease with onset usually after age 60 that progressively destroys the macula, the central portion of the retina, impairing central vision. It rarely causes blindness because only the center of vision is affected. There are two types of AMD, a wet and dry, neither of which causes pain. In wet AMD, 
abnormal blood vessels behind the retina start to grow under the macula and leak blood and fluid, causing loss of central vision, which may occur quickly. Treatment includes laser surgery, photodynamic therapy, and injections into the eye. None of these will cure the disease and loss of vision may still progress. In dry AMD, the light-sensitive cells in the macula slowly break down, causing central vision to diminish over time. Early stages of dry AMD can be treated with high-dose formulations of antioxidants and zinc, which may delay and possibly prevent AMD from progressing to a more advanced stage. Once in the advanced stage, no form of treatment can restore vision loss. Retinal detachment A retinal detachment is a separation of the retina from its attachments to its underlying tissue within the eye. Most retinal detachments are a result of a retinal break, hole, a tear. Once the retina has torn liquid from the vitreous gel clip, gel that fills most of the inside of the eye passes through the tear and accumulates behind the retina. The buildup of fluid behind the retina is what separates detaches the retina from the back of their eye. Flashing lights, floaters, or a curtain may be the initial symptoms of a retinal detachment or of a retinal tear that precedes the detachment itself. Retinal detachments can occur at any age but occur most commonly in younger adults aged 25 to 50 who are highly nearsighted and in older people following cataract surgery. Surgical repair of a retinal detachment is usually successful in reattaching the retina, although more than one procedure may be necessary. Once the retina is reattached, vision usually improves and then stabilizes. Bacterial conjunctivitis pink eye pink eye, a conjunctivitis is redness and inflammation of the membranes conjunctiva covering the whites of the eyes and their membranes on the inner part of the eyelids. The term pink eye is most commonly used to refer to the infectious viral or bacterial type of conjunctivitis, but it may also result from allergic reactions or chemical irritants such as air pollution, smoke, in noxious fumes, the infectious form is very common in children and is highly contagious. Children and adults who develop infectious pink eye should see a doctor to determine whether antibiotic treatment is necessary. Most infectious cases are caused by viruses and will not respond to antibiotics. In these instances, the discharge from the eye is clear and watery and symptoms of a cold may be present. Viral infections last from 7 to 10 days. Bacterial pink eye generally results in a large amount of discharge that is green to yellow in color. This discharge can accumulate at night and make opening the eye difficult in the morning. Bacterial pink eye usually lasts 3 to 5 days and requires antibiotic eye drops to help the body remove the bacterial infection. Application of warm washcloths to the eye area is also effective in removing discharge. To reduce the chance of spreading infectious pink eye, those affected should avoid touching the eye area and wash their hands frequently, particularly before applying medications to the eye area. Sharing of towels, washcloths, cosmetics. Her eye drops can also spread the infection. Uveritis Uveritis pronounced uveitis is defined as all inflammatory processes of the middle layers of the eye, also called the uveal tract or uvea. The uvea is very important because its many veins and arteries transport blood to the parts of the eye that are critical for vision. Symptoms and signs of uveritis may include eye redness and irritation, blurred vision, eye pain, increased sensitivity to light and floating spots. Potential causes include infection with a virus, fungus, bacteria or parasite, inflammatory disease affecting other parts of the body, her injury to the eye. Because uveritis is serious, treatment needs to begin right away. For uveritis not caused by an infection, your ophthalmologist may prescribe eye drops containing steroids to reduce swelling and drugs to relieve pain. 
Antibiotics are used in patients with infectious uveritis. Dark glasses will help with light sensitivity. Eye allergies Severe allergic eye symptoms can be very distressing and are a common reason for visits to the allergist or ophthalmologist. Occasionally, severe eye allergies cause serious damage that can threaten eyesight. Eye allergies usually are associated with other allergic conditions particularly hay fever, allergic rhinitis and atopic eczema dermatitis. Medications and cosmetics can also play a significant role in causing eye allergies. Most people with eye allergies treat themselves and do so quite effectively with OTC products such as eye drops as well as antihistamines and decongestants. If these remedies don't work or if there is eye pain, extreme redness, a heavy discharge, you should seek medical advice. Sty 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 sometimes spelled sty is a tender, painful red bump located at the base of an eyelash or inside the eyelid. A sty results from an acute infection of the oil glands of the eyelid that occurs after these glands have become clogged. A sty also may arise from an infected hair follicle at the base of an eyelash. Symptoms include redness, tenderness, and pain in the affected area. The eye may feel irritated or scratchy. Later symptoms can include swelling, discomfort during blinking, watering of the eye, and light sensitivity. A common sign of a sty is a small, yellowish spot at the center of the bump that develops as pus expands in the area. People of all ages and both genders can develop a sty. Application of a warm compress or washcloth to the affected area for 10 minutes, 4 to 6 times a day, can speed rupture of the sty and aid in the relief of symptoms. A sty should not be pressed or squeezed to facilitate drainage if a sty persists for several days. A doctor may allant strain the infection under local anesthesia, keratoconus we see through the cornea, which is the clear central part of the front surface of the eye. Normally, the cornea has a round shape, like a ping-pong ball. Sometimes, however, the structure of the cornea is just not strong enough to hold this round shape. The normal pressure inside the eye makes the cornea bulge outward like a cone, causing distorted vision. This condition is called critoconus. Often the cause of keratoconus is unknown. The disease usually does not cause blindness. However, the changes to the cornea will make it impossible for the eye to focus well even with glasses or soft contact lenses. Rigid contact lenses or corneal transplantation may be necessary to provide good vision. Blepharitis Blepharitis is an inflammation of the eyelids and occurs in two forms anterior outside of the eyelid and posterior inner eyelid. Both types of blepharitis can cause a burning of foreign body sensation, excessive tearing, itching, sensitivity to light, red and swollen eyelids, redness of the eye, blurred vision, frothy tears, dry eye, flaking at the base of the lashes, a crusting of the eyelashes upon awakening. Common causes for anterior blepharitis are bacteria Staphylococcus and scalp dandruff while posterior forms are caused by problems with the oil glands in the eyelid. Treatment for both forms involves keeping eyelids clean and free of crusts. Warm compresses should be applied to loosen crusts, followed by a light scrubbing with a cotton swab and a mixture of water and baby shampoo because blepharitis rarely goes away completely.